G'day guys and welcome back. And today we're out here on New England to answer the question, is New England Mountains really that bad of a map? All I see about this map is it just getting trashed constantly. So today I thought I'd jump out here and provide my full opinion on whether this map is actually as bad as everyone thinks it is. Let's get into it. And starting off today, we're gonna to be hunting for some white tail. We've got a level one and two level twos. That one's actually technically a potential diamond up to 264, so we will drop that guy down. Obviously not expecting him to make it, but I figured today we'd look for some white tail because I typically don't hunt white tail because of how long I spent trying to get that first diamond white tail. Uh, right back when I started the game, it took about a, a hundred hours or something. I was still pretty clueless, obviously. I had really no clue what was going on, which probably is why it took so long. But I also reckon I probably messed up a couple with bad shots, and I didn't even know that, that was a thing at the time. But anyway, we've got this white tail down, expecting him to be about 230 or so, and 248 actually. Jeez, he was quite massive. I didn't even realise. That's definitely a pretty good way to start out the video. So I just got kicked from that server, but I'm just jumping straight back to the same lake because this is a pretty damn good lake for these whitetail. And I did spot some before, so we're just going to slowly creep a little bit closer and try and take one down. And that's what we're going to be looking to take down. Level 2 up to 231. He's not that bad. I'm debating whether to just go with the next shot, but he kept shaking his head and it's... Not exactly the best of angles. I also feel like that could that could get into a long if I took that shot, but I might just chuck out the 22. He didn't even hear that, but he just decided to turn any anyway. But that absolutely dropped him, which is pretty perfect. And just on the way over, we do have another potential diamond white tail up to 266. Another pretty massive one. Might be around the same size as the last. Absolutely dropped him. But here's our other white tail. 220 gold. Not bad. Double lunged him. Pretty good shot. And here he is. Gold at 231. So quite a lot smaller than the last one. Had a larger estimate. But obviously wasn't quite the size of the last one. But see, as you can see, the white tail hunting on this map is actually quite nice. They can, they can drink it every single lake and every single river, which is a little annoying. But there's whitetail absolutely everywhere, as you can see. It's definitely a very good map to hunt for the whitetail. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is the ducks on this map. There you do find golden eye, mallard, and green winged teal, and they are definitely pretty fun to hunt. If you set up a set up a blind and a bunch of decoys, you can just jump out with a shotgun and just tear them down, and it's actually very fun. So. That is another thing I do like about this map. You can find all of them in, in like in the same places, just flying overhead. I've seen Mallard, Teal, and the Golden Eye, obviously, which we just took down then. They're just absolutely everywhere, and it's a lot of fun. And here's our Golden Eye. If it's gonna let me claim, there we go. Silver at 977.57. The one thing about these Golden Eye on this map, or just Golden Eye in general, you do not find a lot of golds of them, I've found. I just find so many tiny ones, it's kind of ridiculous, but anyway. Okay, moving on. And once again, we do have some golden eye. Just sitting, eating out here in the lake. And we'll just try and drop a shot into that one. We do get him in the end. Missed the first one, but did get the second one. And here is our little golden eye. Once again, another silver at 996.76. Which wasn't that far off of uh, gold, but once again, you don't really see him too often. And now we do have another couple white tail. The largest one looking like just just level two, not even max weight, which is a little disappointing, but we will try and take one of them out. That one does seem to be the biggest, so we'll drop a shot into him. Into him, That should be a lung shot, and he's going down quite quickly. There is a grey fox somewhere in there, just a level four, however, so nothing to worry about. Didn't spook off a legendary, which is pretty good. And just on the way over, we do have some ducks flying overhead. I can hear him. There we go. Might whip out the shotgun here and... Ooh, that's a better opportunity. There's one. There's two. And I did hit that third one, but he's not dropping yet. I only reckon maybe one of the pellets would have hit him. And you can't spot him because he is going to die. You can spot the others, but... We either got two... I think we got two there because the, the third did manage to get away somehow, but... 
Anyway, we've got a white tail and two golden eye coming in. And here's our white tail. Should just be. A, oh, it's actually a gold 194. It's not an impressive gold by any means, but we'll go back and get those golden eye, which should have floated over by now. And I'm not actually sure if they were golden eye. Looks like they were. First one's just a female 838 silver, and second one is a male 937.74 silver. Yet again, not a gold taken down, but they do look pretty cool, the golden eye. And as you can see, we've now crept into Moose Drink Time, so if this guy would want to go alert, unless you're running and just jumping straight at him, there we go, took a little while, but we try and heart shot him, and we did. Went down very quickly, I didn't realise there was more Moose over there, but that's just a tiny level 2, definitely not concerned about missing out on that. And here we go, should just be a silver, Not definitely not a big Moose by any stretch. 168 silver, but a hard shot, not a bad way to take out our first moose. And once again, we do have a, another pretty small moose over here, but you know what, I'll still try and take him out. We'll go for a long shot in a second here, and he's as he's stretching his back around, that probably gives a chance to get a little bit more penetration. And he is starting to go down, which is definitely not bad. And I'm just trying to track this thing, but we do have a warning call from some bob white, bob white quail and they are now fleeing so I've got the shotgun out can't hear them flapping their wings about just yet don't think they've flushed just yet but definitely do want to find them and there's our moose up there the dogs found him are they gonna come out where are they they might have just flown into the trees I think unfortunately oh nope there they are why am I spotting him just trying to take him down there's one there's two there's three, there's four. Oh, I missed the last shot. That would have been cool, taking every single one down without missing a shot, but I did actually get him down as well. So we have six dead animals just right on top of me. We've got five dead quail and a dead moose. There's the first moose, and it's not gonna let me claim the quail. This server's quite laggy. Just a bronze. Come on. Silver male, red brown. Uh, another silver male. And a little silver female. And I think this may be the last one here. And it's just a bronze female. So that was a lot of quail just... Hang on, let's just make sure there's, there's, there's none left. Dog will confirm in a second. Yep. So that's an absolute load of quail just out of nowhere, which is another reason why I enjoy this map. I absolutely love the Bob White quail. I love them on Mississippi as well, but... They're just as good over here in New England. They just seem to be absolutely everywhere. And you can just run into a full flock like that. And it's extremely fun. I definitely recommend it. There we go. We do have some more moose straight in front of us. All of the moose that I've seen today have been absolutely tiny. And I just don't understand why. I mean, this one's not that small. But it's obviously not very big either. And once he stops licking his foot... We'll try and get a shot into his lungs. And did we get there? It doesn't seem to be going down, but now he actually is. Took him a little while, but he definitely is going down, and that'll be yet another dead moose. So here is our moose, just at 177 silver. I think that might be the best one we've got today, surprisingly, as it's just a silver. I've really struggled to find anything big so far today, but that's definitely not normally the case. As you can see, I'm right at this top, top river right at the top of the map it's a definitely really good spot for these moose on this map and this map is very good for the, the moose and if you have haven't hunted them before on this map i definitely recommend you go check it out because it's definitely very good and we do have even more moose straight in front just another level two minor that's kind of ridiculous how small everything we're finding right now is but that's definitely not normally the case there we go that's a bit bigger that is quite a large level 4, up to 257, and he's a max weight, so we'll try to get a little closer, and we also have a black bear running across the running across the uh, river, but we're just about close enough, so I might go for a heart shot now on this. On this moose, there's another uh, cow, a cow moose that just ran straight past. Don't know how that wasn't a heart shot, but we did manage to get a lung, so he will go down nonetheless. Oh, and just on the way over to claiming, we do have some quail just flying overhead. There's one. Missed the second. I think I only hit one. I can't tell if I hit that hit that last shot, but there's one landing there. 
Just a small little male. Maybe we hit that. No, not quite, unfortunately. But we do have one one down quail, and we do still have that moose somewhere lying about. And is it going to let me claim him? No, because this server is lagging like crazy. Uh, just a silver at 158. That is the one downside, main downside to New England. Just because people don't generally like it, there's there's never any uh, servers up for it. So sometimes, most of the time, actually, you don't even find a single server up. And that's really disappointing because, you know what, overall, this map is actually quite good. And I do actually really enjoy it. It definitely doesn't deserve the rapid getting. Like, the whitetail hunting's amazing. The moose hunting's amazing. Every species on here is just... It's just really fun. I did actually hit that second quail, silver in 166, but now we'll go find that moose. And just in editing this, I have just realized that I completely forgot to go find that moose, but anyway, I do really enjoy this map. This map is not a, nearly as bad as what people say it is. The only negative I think it has is just how long the rivers are. There's just rivers absolutely everywhere. And for the most part, the species can drink just about anywhere. So sometimes it can be a little hard to get onto them, but when you do, they're just absolutely everywhere. It's such a beautiful map and there's such a wide range of amazing species. I definitely recommend going out to New England if you haven't. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. We're on the road to 1K, we're not far away, hopefully we're going to get there soon. So thanks for watching, see you next time.